hey there everyone, let's do some anniversary hatching. So I have a lot of gems, I'm going to go for the mythics. And whoa, I get two mythics in this first pack. This is not live commentary, it's post commentary, so I know what's going to come up. But oh my god, <laughs> I was like fully prepared to like spend loads of gems trying to awaken this mythic. Because uh, it's effectively half price, getting the 10th pack guaranteed. And I get two shards for it in the first pack. Well, you know, the original copy, then one shot. So I just need two more copies of it. Um, yeah, insane luck. I was very happy with this. So we get a legendary in this pack. Um, I also need, uh, well, I want to get all the legendaries that are featured in this. One of them I've got already, it's Mantaferno. Um, I got a standard pool le legendary here. But yeah, if I can get the three other legendaries, uh, that would be pretty cool. And, you know, I'm happy to go 20, 30 packs, however many it takes to awaken this mythic, because it's cheap enough that I should definitely go for it. Get another legendary in this pack, and oh, let's see what it is. It is Dolphoon, cool. So I'm only missing Dolphoon, uh, Jungle Flipper, and Dolph Phoenix. Um, weirdly, Dolph Phoenix was like the first dolphin, but I just, I never got it. It was in the standard pool for a while, and I never got it from there, and then it became a limited one, and hasn't ever come out of an egg uh, when it's been featured. Get another legendary in this one. We've got good packs so far, nothing which is just, you know, epics and super epics. Ooh, another featured. And it was Jungle Flipper, so yeah, now I'm only missing Dolphoenix. Um, I have five of the six dolphins, which is pretty cool, so I'm definitely going to be trying them out. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be trying them out because... Um, oh, sorry, Mantafen is not in this one, it's uh, Dolph Freezes is in this one. Yeah, because there are three dolphins here, um, I think a lot of people will be getting the dolphins from this anniversary, and then they'll be using them, so I may kind of put off trying the dolphins. I get another legendary here, which is a new one. And it's the other one which I will try and pronounce the name. Uh, oh, it's Octospot here. Yeah, I can't remember what the what the fully evolved version is. Uh, it'll take me a little while to learn how to pronounce that one. Um, but yeah, so I got all the all the featured legendaries and the mythic twice in the first five packs. It was insanely lucky. I was so happy, and I thought, you know, from here it's only going to be great. Like <laughs> we've got what we need. We just need a couple of more copies of Wilhelmina. The next pack, two legendaries and a mythic. And uh, it's one of the standard pool legendaries that um, I don't have yet. It's added to the, the standard pool in, uh, last anniversary. So it's been there for a year. And I just haven't got it until now. This this mythic, not the featured one. So Tomi, another awesome mythic that has just been added into the standard pool um, that I would love to get. So yeah, that's great. I'm very happy with that. Um, and it, you can see there, my Dolph Reese is plus nine already. So um, just get a six star ticket for that. So yeah, this, this was just going insane. I, I was so happy with this. Um, I planned to make a hatching video anyway. And since I've got like over 4,000 gems, like I was happy to spend about 2,000. And I thought this was going to be like a really long video where I'm like hatching loads of packs. And then it turned out I just got super lucky. So we still need two more copies of, uh, of the Mythic to awaken her. So we'll see how that goes. I won't spoil how many packs I end up opening. Got another jungle flipper there. Not bad. But we've got all the featured legendaries at this point, so it's really those uh, two Wilhelminas that I really want. Um, so I haven't actually said, um, well, one thing to note here, I'm not sure if you can tell me with my voice. I think it's fine now. I've been ill all week, like really badly ill, which is also why this video is like a couple of days later than I wanted to make it. Because uh, I would have just been like blowing my nose and coughing the whole time and having to like pause the recording or something like that. And um, I did a big clear out just before we're doing this recording. Um, we're luckily we're, we're okay. So this is the 10th pack guaranteed. Um, so that's why it's right there in the 10th slot. And it's the third copy of Wilhelmina. So I just need one more copy. Um, so yeah, that's great. 10 packs, got three copies of her. I got another mythic and I got all the featured legendaries. The 11th pack, I get another mythic. Oh my god, is it going to be her? Weirdly, it's in the tenth slot again. Um, I was like, this game isn't bugged, is it? And yeah, this was the last the last copy of Wilhelmina. So, oh, 440 gems. Barely anything for a mythic. Like, technically it should be half price because, you know, there's the tenth pack guaranteed. So it's like, normally mythics cost about 2,000 gems. And this would be 1,000 gems. But 440 gems is ridiculous. I have not been this lucky with any other mythic. A Furion I did get uh, pretty cheaply. So let's go and do the other festival, uh, the other festival egg, which has the Vix, uh, Vixian, the mythic. 
Um, similarly, I have Mantiferno at plus 9. I don't have any other legendaries, so I want all the legendaries, and I want to try and get Vixian. Um, I'm not so keen on her, but um, yeah, we'll see where it goes. So first pack, get two legendaries. Um, I get a six-star ticket from Mantiferno. Wraith Host as well, plus one is good. I do want that bonus, um, but I don't particularly want to use potions on it because it's a standard pool legendary. Next pack, we get two more legendaries. Oh my god. <laughs> first one, let's see what it is. Yes, okay, Magma Mund. This is the, the one that I'm most keen on. Uh, a Link Fire Poison Sweeper that's like also support. Uh, yeah, it, it looks really, really good. Um, I'm going to be talking about all these um, all these new monsters in this series, which I do every year, where I uh, basically talk about all the monsters that came out in the last year, including the anniversary monsters. Uh, so that series will be coming out pretty soon. I've got one more video uh, to come out looking at the legendaries, um, uh, like my top picks for uh, legendaries in Shadow, Storm and Water. That's coming out, but then after that it's going to be this annual review of the monsters from 2021. Um, so I'm going to talk about the monsters there, not here. We've got a Mythic, this pack. Excellent. Let's see what it is. It's Vixian. Okay. Yep. No surprise there. So I've got one copy, and ultimately I'm not so keen on this Mythic. So, uh, like, I could have gone all out and tried to awaken it, uh, but I decided, okay, I'm going to go to 10 packs and just see, you know, see what I get. If I don't get her once in 10 packs, then I'll go to 20 packs, because I want to get one copy of her uh, while she's cheap and everything. But I got that one in the fourth pack, so we're now going to go to 10 packs and see, you know, what we get in that time. We get Pumpkin, great. I've wanted this monster for a very long time. <laughs> Came out three years ago. I've kind of wanted it ever since. Um... So yeah, that's that's almost all the featured, is it? Or is it all the featured? Oh no, there's still the Garden Fairy, Hibby. Um, I don't have any Garden Fairies, so <laughs> she's not particularly useful for me, but you know, it'd be great to get in the next five packs. Unfortunately, nothing in this one. So we've got four packs to go, we'll see what we can get in that. Oh yeah, another thing I can say actually, um, so from the epics and super epics, like I have them all plus nine, so I'm getting like loads of potions from this, um, I managed to get every single 0 to 5 star monster, other than like a few random ones I'm missing, I managed to get all of them to plus nine. So a while back they made it so that um, the 0 to 3 star monsters can take potions and there are so many for me to get through, it's taken me all this time, but this was finally the point when I, I got the last 0 star monsters to plus 9, so my entire collection of 0 to 5 star monsters are all plus 9, which I'm very, very proud of. Like, I I don't really kind of, like, um, go for top spots on leaderboards so that I can show off, like, yeah, look, you know, I'm the best in the game. I do that for, for fun and personal achievement when I push on those things. And I'm not, like, super driven on it. Like, I, I enjoy it, I want to go for it, but it's not, like, the major thing for me. I love building my collection, I love having fun in the game, and getting all of those things to plus nine, that was a really big one for me. I'm very happy about that. So, last pack here, we've got Legendary, and yes, 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 I get the Garden Fairy, <laughs> the featured that I was like, I was like, come on, i got to get it before the 10th pack, and I got it in the 10th pack. And then here we have XYZ which I'm very surprised about. Uh, I was kind of expecting to be Vixian, but XYZ I will take because that is my last shard for XYZ. So now we're going to look at uh, all these new monsters that I got. I got so many. Uh, we got three new mythics, one of them which I fully awakened. I fully awakened my XYZ. Uh, how many legendaries is that? That's like, um, if I can count, it's moving around, so it's making it more complicated. I got seven new legendaries, and then we got the two new super epics, which are the recent things. So... I then went away and I trained them. I didn't bother putting that into this video because, you know, uh, it, it's just like, it's training. And then also I didn't uh, include the evolving. So we're just going to get to the awakening, uh, changing Wilhelmina into an awakened form. She's pretty decent in her second form. Uh, she lacks quite a lot of damage and the team turn is really, really good, um, which is a secret skill on, on the awakened form. But Fast Fury is a very good move. And uh, she also counters Rock Lock, which, if you don't know, is one of like the annoying strategies around right now, where you use Petrify Reven Revenge Monsters and Lunactia for the enemy substitute to put some rocks into the enemy team, and then you use raw and tracking stuff to just ignore the rocks completely. Um, 
and Wilhelmina will kill the rocks. So it's a kind of defense from Rock Clock. Um, anyway, Wilhelmina's really awesome, awakened and managed to get her there. And XYZ, in second form, this is like a little lackluster. The passives are a bit hit and miss with XYZ. And what makes it really good is in the awakened form, it has just a very, very strong moveset. All the moves are really good there. Time's Up is a huge upgrade over Chrono Killer because Time's Up has like quite a high, um, quite a bit higher damage modifier. Um, and it obviously hits two targets rather than one. So it goes from kind of like killing just the squishier Chrono Monsters to easily one-shotting every Chrono Monster in the game um, and also being able to hit something else at the same time. So there we are, Awaken the Two Mythics. Very happy about that. I'll definitely be trying them out lots, especially Wolfmina. Um, in PvP, I think she's just a really awesome and interesting team turn monster. Um, the cool thing about her team turn is she's got this Slayer Bane, so it passes just 59 seconds when she gets a turn, and team turn you need to pass 50 seconds. So um, that just lines up perfectly where she gets a turn, she's tanky as well, does a Slayer Bane, and then on her next turn can do team turn. Um, XYZ secret skill is also really good, um, that instant knockback next, especially given that he's high speed, um, you know, it can give you some nice control uh, over the battle. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed some hatching. I basically never make do hatching videos other than my Christmas specials where I use all the rare gems. If you saw, I have a lot of rare gems right now. I will be doing a Christmas special uh, hatching them all. So I look forward to that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in a video soon.